pneumatic actuators. We have here a single acting or spring return unit and over here double acting. Double acting takes air in either one port or the other. This is a Namur interface port on these units. With the double acting we can put a Namur solenoid directly onto there or we can use a standalone solenoid and run the two air lines to either side. Double acting means that we can put air on one side, the unit will rotate in one direction, air on the other side and the unit will rotate back again. Remove the air and the actuator stays in that position. Single acting or spring return means that the air signal goes on one side, the actuator rotates and when you remove that signal it'll go, the actuator is sprung back to its original position. It can be piped up either normally closed or normally open or assembled normally closed and normally open. We recommend to use a double solenoid on that, or a single solenoid that has a double entry. We put air in both ends, even though the air is going into the spring end, it's better than having sucking the air in from the outside. Uh, we recommend a port silencer to go in here, and that allows the unit to at least stop dust being pulled into it as it's sucked back in. But it's better really to operate it with a double solenoid or 5-2 solenoid like this. I'm just going to demonstrate the single solenoid, single air supply here. I'll just put the silencer in the port here. That's what I would re recommend if you're just using a single, su single supply. I'll just operate this valve. The actuator opens. By line, the actuator is sprung closed. So it's a sprung closed or spring return actuator. Either spring a valve closed or spring a valve open. With the double acting actuator, I pipe this up so we can put signal into both sides. Operate in this direction, the actuator swings around and we remove the air supply and the actuator will stay where it is. If I put that signal into the opposite side, over here, operate the actuator, it reverses. Take that signal back out, operate the actuator, goes back in. In both cases the air signal can be removed and the actuator will stay where it is. Double acting pneumatic. So the difference between them, single acting, double acting. Single acting actuator is in fact a double acting actuator with springs. So you can put the air into the spring end as well. Won't affect it. It just assists the spring to close, but the spring is still there to give it the close function or the return function in the case of an air supply or electrical failure.